It's estimated that there are over 600 species of primates in the world. And before we zero in on the great apes, let's take a quick look at some of the differences, similarities, and classifications. The order of primates consists of two major suborders, prosimians, such as lemurs and lorises, and anthropoids, which include monkeys, apes, and even humans. Let's start with the monkeys. You've got your old world monkeys coming from Europe, Asia, and Africa, and your new world monkeys coming from the Americas. The obvious differences between old and new world monkeys have to do with the shape of their noses, the number of teeth, the range of their territory, and tail usage. Most new world monkeys can use their tails for grasping at branches. They have prehensile tails. On the other hand, old world monkeys with tails can use them for balance when jumping, but they can't wrap them around branches to help them hang on. There's also a difference between monkeys and apes. The easiest way to figure out monkey or ape is to look for a tail. Most monkeys have tails, but no apes have tails. Overall, monkeys are more like other mammals than apes and humans are. For example, because of their skeletal structure, monkeys move more like a cat or a dog than apes and humans. And on the evolutionary line leading to humans, most scientists believe that monkeys split off long before apes did. Moving on to the two categories of apes, there are the lesser apes found in Southeast Asia with features that make them distinctly different than our featured creatures, the great apes. Of all terrestrial mammals, apes seem to most resemble humans. They can walk upright, they have human-like features, they're social creatures which form family groups, and they make and use tools. Maybe that's why we're so fascinated by them. We can relate. There are four species of great apes, chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and gorillas. 